Here's Cara Rowe completing the introductions. Trinidad and Tobago, give it up for Gertzen Warrior Manswell. <laughs> to my left, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed 238 pounds. He comes to us with a record of 19 wins, one loss, one draw, 18 coming by way of KO from Miami, Florida. Give it up for Romaine Beware Stiverns. Once again, this will be 10 rounds of boxing and your referee in charge is Gerard White. So final words of instruction from the referee. This is good, this is good. All right, touch him up and let's go to work. The United States craves a genuine presence on the heavyweight stage. The main Stivern, as his name was pronounced in the introductions, he says that he is the man. Watch me, they say it's dead. I'm gonna bring it back. Well, we'll Ready. see. Beware. Kurtz and Manswell Ready. from Mouthpiece. Tobago is undefeated in 20 fights. Stiven in the black and gold. He has his back to you at this stage. And Curtin Manswell, 34 years old, older man by a couple of years, and the heavier man, he's wearing black and white. Well, we have a couple of heavyweights uh, who have built up uh, impressive records but they've been very carefully hand, uh, handled. And uh, now someone's decided it's the time to find out uh, which one is worth spending the time on. And this is the fight that should tell us. Both decent amateurs, so both with a fair idea of the game, and you can see the way they're going about things in the opening round. They're thinking their way around, nothing silly, not the typical you know, bluster that you see sometimes with heavyweights. They're both uh, probing for openings thinking what they're doing so with a bit of luck this may be watchable well hopefully so both of them incidentally promoted by Don King so long that name synonymous with the heavyweight division as well as he uh, moves on towards his 80th birthday Don still craves another heavyweight champion Stiven with the slight height advantage. Well, he certainly stands the taller, but uh, according to the records, Manswell is actually by an inch or maybe a little bit more the taller man. Doesn't look that way though, does it? No, he's, he's slightly crouched, and the way he's set up, which is though he's looking for the left hook, he is uh, a little bit wider his stance. And uh, Stivern, he's in a nice tight defence, uh, catching the, the straight punches that are coming his way. But they're uh, both thinking what they're doing. No one really prepared to commit too early, which is sensible. You mentioned the amateur records, Jim. Those uh, fans who made their way to the Commonwealth Games in Manchester in 2002 might remember that Manswell got the silver medal and some heavy leather being thrown in this opening round. That was a good left hook from Stivern, just seemed to, to stop Manswell in his tracks. I think uh, in the opening round here, he's in the tighter defence, nice little jolting punches he's throwing, stepping in with those punches. And the record suggests that he is heavy-handed as well, Jim, 18 stoppages in those 19 wins for Stivern. Yeah, we'll always feel the... In the heavyweight division, uh, it's a huge asset if you can have a good solid jab, a jab that's a weapon rather than a range finder. And Stiven is stepping in with some solid stuff. Good opening round. Gets and Manswell there felt a little bit of the weight of Stiven's punching in that opening round. Yeah, landed at a nice body shot of his own, but look how quick. See, he sets up well, Stiven. He's nice and compact. He's always in a position to come back with a nice short jolting counter. Good defence, as we've seen already. 
That was the, the, the same little answer from a different angle there. Stiven, born in Haiti, now based in Las Vegas. Turned to boxing quite late, like uh, a few others. First went to a boxing gym to lose a bit of weight as much as anything else. And found that he had an aptitude for it. Yeah, and talking about weight, the Stiven has come down for these last couple of fights. Uh, he was maybe a little bigger than he should have been. So that is also a good sign at this stage when maybe he feels ready to step up and level. Stiven, who weighed in at 17 stone. Manswell in the black and white shorts, let me remind you. The man from the Caribbean, the heavier man, 18 stone three, he tipped the scales. Stiven's jab, just uh, keeping Manswell occupied, he's not allowing him to set anything up. Nice, sharp, and then his defence is tight again. Yep, this is shaping up well, this. Well, goodness me. We talked about him being heavy-handed, about him having a punch. Now, is he going to be able to get up from this man's well? Just about, just about, but he's still unsteady. He's Referee, here. well, he's letting him go on. I'm not sure he's recovered, though. And Stiven's looking to take him out right here, right now, in this second round. Big punch is going in, and it's all over. It's all over. Well, was he right to allow him to fight on? But you hear the roar of delight from Bermain Stiven. He has some power. Tremendous and some classy moves too. Like the way he put punches together, like the way he thought what he was doing. The referee asked him as well the question, are you all right? Well, the answer was no, that fight should not have been allowed to continue. That was a dreadful piece of refereeing. His legs were all over the place. He could have been badly hurt there. We're still hoping at the moment that he hasn't been badly hurt. Don't think so, he wants to get back up again. But uh, not impressed uh, by the referee, his decision making. Never recover from the shot, never get a chance to recover. Excellent performance from Stiver, and we know which one's going to move ahead, and you can see here how much that victory means to him. He is absolutely delighted. Gertson Manswell, well, thank goodness for that. He appears to have recovered OK. Shouldn't have been allowed to go on, though, that wasn't clever. As soon as he got up, you could see him wobbling towards the referee when he said, walk towards me, but still, he was allowed to continue. Let's take another look. It was dreadful, I mean, a dreadful piece of referee. Now, it's possible, I mean, you can see the way he collapsed to the floor, caught high in the head, and it can take a long time to recover from those punches. A punch in the chin is one thing, a punch to the top of the head just scrambles everything, and it takes a long time to go. It's possible the referee looked into his eyes when he got up. His eyes may have looked OK, but the legs were all over the place. You could see he should not have been allowed to continue. Now, that was a solid shot, and that really was a blinding punch. That's still in the end of it. The way his head bounced on the canvas as he went down, well, that told its own story. And, well, could the referee see from there? But he just fell so heavily. Well, you didn't really have to see, and thankfully not too many full-blooded shots, but look, just a sitting duck there, and he even took a couple of seconds too long to step in then, after he'd made the initial mistake, but that's a fight that should never have been allowed to continue. Just survival instincts uh, trying to get Mansell through this, but no thoughts of trying to get back into the fight, no thoughts of grabbing the other fellow. All the instincts had been knocked out of him with a, with a knockdown punch. Should have been allowed to take those last few shots. Two Don King fighters and the veteran promoter. He wanted to know who was the prospect between them, who's the man who might shape up to big fights in the future. And it was Benain Stiven who had the advantage. And he showed some impressive power. Here's confirmation. Champion, give it up for Bermain 